Hey guys, welcome to another lesson on periodic functions. By now you guys should be pretty familiar with the concept of unit circles and the fact that the uh, point on the unit circle tells us the coordinates of that point tells us the uh, sine and cosine uh, theta uh, of that point. For example, if uh, the location of this point is at theta equals 32 degrees, then the y corner of this point, which is zero, uh, 0 0.53, is the sine uh, function of 32 degrees and the x coordinate of this point 0 0.85 is equal to cosine of 32 degrees okay so once you're familiar with that then we can go on to um, the rest of this lesson which is talking about the value of trigonometric ratios, the value of sine theta, cos theta, and tan theta in the different quadrants. Right, let's firstly talk about the first, uh, the original point of point B is when theta is equal to zero degrees. Right, so when theta, when theta is equal to zero degrees, what is the sine value, what is the cosine value, and what is the tangent value? Alright, so when theta is located at zero, if you look at vertically the y coordinate of point B, so let me just uh, write that down here, uh, for any point, for a point x comma y on the circumference of the unit circle um, x is equal to cosine theta y is equal to sine theta alright so the x coordinate cos theta is equal to 1 because that's what the x corner of this point is. So x corner is equal to 1. The y corner, or vertically, the y corner is at 0. And uh, the tangent theta, well, 0 divided by 1 is obviously 0. Sorry, I shouldn't have a degrees um, symbol there because uh, it's sine theta is a ratio it doesn't have any units okay so now let's go to uh, the first quadrant so if you have a look anywhere I drag the point B on the inside the first quadrant which is the top right hand corner of this quadrant we call it quadrant number one the x corner of point B is always positive, and the y corner of point B is always positive. So right now the numbers for x is uh, the number for x is 0 0.88, the number for y is 0 0.48. So anywhere inside this quadrant, x and y are both positive. So we can say when theta is between 0 degrees to 90 degrees sine is positive, cosine is positive. Now what's tangent? Well if you remember uh, tangent theta is equal to uh, sine theta over cosine theta. If you have forgotten why you probably have to have a look at our previous uh, trigonometric ratio definitions so if we have a positive number divided by a positive number, we get a positive number. Okay, now let's go to 90 degrees. So when this point is sitting at 90 degrees, the x coordinate, which is the cosine value, is equal to 0. 
and the y coordinate of this point is equal to 1 and 1 divided by 0 is undefined All right we don't have a number for tangent theta because you cannot divide by 0 right 1 divided by 0 is undefined whereas before when theta was 0 degrees we had 0 divided by 1 which is 0 positive divided by positive is positive okay now let's look at between 90 degrees to 180 degrees uh, so when the quad when the point is on this quadrant here the second quadrant um, the x corner of this point which is cosine theta is negative uh, because it's on the left hand side of the origin whereas vertically this point is positive right because it's on this side on the top half of the origin so vertically it's still positive sine theta is positive horizontally cosine theta is negative positive divided by negative is negative positive divided by negative is negative right tan theta equals tan theta equals sine theta divided by cos theta All right okay so now let's go to 180 degrees so the point is now sitting here horizontally x is on negative 1 vertically y is on 0 so horizontally x is on negative 1 y is on 0 and tan theta is equal to 0 0 divided by negative 1 is 0 180 to 270 All right now we have uh, this point is in the third quadrant and we can see that anywhere we drag along here x is negative and y is negative so they're both negative now what happens when you have negative divided by negative the answer is positive tan theta is positive now let's try another one uh, 270 degrees um, which is at this point horizontally it's 0 vertically it's negative 1 so we have 0 negative 1 again undefined and uh, so we've run out of space so I'm just gonna put it down here oops let me try to draw a straight line so we got 270 degrees to 360 degrees uh, we have sine theta is let me try to draw a straight line sine theta is uh, negative right vertically we're at negative below the horizontal and cos theta is positive negative cos theta is positive so tan theta negative divided by positive is negative and finally when it's 360 degrees um, sine theta is the same thing as zero 360 degrees we got the same value as when it was zero degrees so uh, x corner is 1 y corner is 0 and 10 theta is 0 and it will repeat the circular motion will repeat so once we've had a whole revolution let's say we have an angle bigger than 360 degrees let's say 380 degrees which is about here um, the same values of sine theta and cosine theta will repeat itself okay so let's do a few random tests to see if we're accurate 
So if I ask you what is tangent of uh, 200 degrees, and let's say you type this in your calculator. So you type in under degrees mode, tangent of 200 degrees. You get 0 0.36, which is a positive number which is a positive number. Now let's try tangent of 93 degrees. So if you try put in the calculator tangent 93 degrees you get a negative number so that's also correct and basically you can use this table to tell when is sine and cosine and tangent going to be positive, negative, zero, one, or undefined. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.